What's up guys? Today's video we are doing a classic throwback Burger King mukbang. The reason why I say throwback is because it feels like it's been so long since I've done a Burger King mukbang and I've just been really missing that. So Burger King actually has some new items that we're going to be trying in this video which I'm very excited about. They have a new wrap. They also have some new chicken nuggets. So it says Burger King announces new fiery buffalo royal crispy wraps and fiery buffalo chicken nuggets starting March 7th, 2024. It says the new fiery buffalo royal crispy wrap features crispy white meat chicken breasts fillet coated in a spicy buffalo glaze and a creamy buffalo sauce with juicy tomato and crisp lettuce in a soft warm tortilla. And then the fiery nuggets are bite-sized white meat chicken nuggets coated in a spicy buffalo glaze for heat and flavor in every bite. I feel like these items are right up my alley because I love buffalo. I love kind of more spicier things which I don't think these are going to be super spicy because buffalo in general isn't spicy necessarily but I love buffalo flavor so I think I'm going to really love these. I also got a Whopper with Swiss cheese because we can't come to Burger King and not get a Whopper. That would be criminal. I also got some fries and then I think one of their frozen drinks. Yeah a frozen Fanta wild cherry and I also brought my water with me. I placed my order on the app but we still got to pop into the drive-thru to pick that up so let's go ahead and do that and get this food so we can Ooh, I'm so excited. Hi, welcome to Parking. Where are you going? My ticket order. Hi, um, I have a mobile order for Daisy. All right, you can come around a second. Later. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is the Burger King that <laughs> there's always a ton of geese, but they're not really here today. There's a few. I think I saw like two or three, but most of them have migrated elsewhere. So kind of wonder where they went. Hi, how's it going? Thank you. Um, no, that's okay. Thank you. Have a good one. Sorry, um, can I just get a zesty and ranch sauce, please? Thank you so much. All right, you guys, we just did our Burger King bag. I took a peek at the chicken nuggets, and you guys, those things are super saucy. There is like a pool of sauce swimming at the bottom of the bag. I am so excited about those. Also, side note, who has been listening to the Ariana Grande new album? Oh, you guys, okay. I've been an Ariana fan for a very long time. I love my girl Ariana. She is just truly so talented. This new album I think is by far the best album she has ever done. It's just so freaking incredible. It's so poetic. It's so creative. It is just true art. And also the music video for We Can't Be Friends with Evan Peters. Oh my goodness, I live for that. Truly, I do. It's just so incredible. Yeah, like I said, I've been a long fan of Ariana Grande and I'm just so happy she's back with music. I'm super excited for Wicked and I think that's going to be such a good era for her to see her in such a big production. But I love Ariana's music. I'm just ah, so excited. Anyways, here is the BK bag. Guys, I got all of this food for $11. Now, I did order it on the app and I had a coupon for a free Whopper with a dollar purchase which oh my goodness that is such a good deal a free Whopper hello we got $11 for all of this pretty incredible they did forget my sauce which luckily I looked in the bag so we got our zesty and ranch sauce I got these to go with the chicken nuggets cuz kind of wanted to try them with a variety of nuggets french fries delicious so fresh too okay the chicken nuggets they were actually way saucier in the bag but it looks like they've kind of dried down a little bit no they're so saucy they look very moist that's the thing I will <laughs> that's the perfect word moist they look quite moist okay here is our wrap oh this wrap looks perfect this is a perfectly made wrap. Wow. The last time I got Burger King's wraps, they were good, but they kind of just slapped them together and they were super messy. That one was made with intention. We love to see it. And then last up, last but not least, the BK Whopper. Love it, love it, love it with some Swiss cheese. Love it. I think I'm going to get the table out because trying to do a mukbang with this amount of food without a table little difficult so let me get that out and we will give everything a try oh i cannot wait all right you guys we are ready to go so i'm gonna take a sip of my fanta my frozen fanta first so 
so good this is the perfect replacement for my coke zero let's try the buffalo chicken nuggets first they are very red look at that i'm gonna try it without sauce first and then of course we're gonna dip it in some sauces Okay, these have so much flavor. These are actually so good. I don't know if you can tell. Can you see how wet this one is? <laughs> like, that is super wet. Okay, I'm going to try it with the ranch first. Done. Done, done, done. Ranch, perfect. On the app, I think everything automatically comes with barbecue. So if you do place an order on the app, definitely switch out your sauces. If you still want a barbecue, I get it, but you got to try these with the ranch. Now let's try it with the zesty sauce. Okay, with the zesty sauce, it's really good, too. You guys, I gotta say, these chicken nuggets are probably my all-time favorite chicken nuggets Burger King has done. These are so freaking good. I do like them a lot better than the last ones they did, which... I can't really remember the name of those, but I remember they had a little bit of like a teriyaki flavor. Mmm. Now these have a very slight buffalo flavor. Like they are not punchy at all. So if you're wanting something that is super buffalo-y, this isn't going to give you that very bold buffalo flavor. But honestly, the level of buffalo is perfect. They are kind of hot. I gotta say, like, I wouldn't say they're necessarily spicy, but yes, they do have a kick to them for sure. If you don't like spicy, I'd probably avoid these because they definitely, you know, they got a little bit of heat. While well, they're so good though. Okay, before we dive into the wrap, I'm going to take a bite of this Whopper because this thing is just staring at me. I need to get me a bite. Wow, that is fantastic. See, a Whopper never lets you down in life. It is just so freaking good. 10 out of 10 perfection. So Gabe and I are booking a beach vacation currently and I am so excited. I have been dying to go to the beach for so long. We went to Tampa, Florida like two years ago. So it's been a while since I've been to the beach and we actually only got one day at the beach for a couple hours in Tampa because to go to the beach, you have to go to like Clearwater. We went to Clearwater for a few hours, but it didn't really satisfy the beach craving and I hadn't been to the beach for a very long time before that. So I'm like, we need to go to the beach for a few days. I just want to sit oceanfront, like oceanfront hotel. I need to see the ocean. I need to wake up to the ocean. I need that in my life. Now, Gabe is not an ocean person. He's not a beach person. He does not really care for the beach. But he told me he would be willing to compromise if we went to Charleston. Now, we are going to be staying at Folly Beach. Which I believe is like the main beach by Charleston. Gabe kind of grew up near Charleston for part of his childhood. So, he loves Charleston. 
and I was always opposed to the idea of going there because I've only been to Charleston once and it was whew, it, it was a bit of a disaster it kind of scarred me so I had went to Charleston with three of my girlfriends we got an Airbnb It was actually a little bit outside of Charleston, but we left right after work. We didn't get there until maybe 11 o'clock, so it was pretty late whenever we checked into the Airbnb. But, the thing is, is the Airbnb had a lockbox, so all you have to do is just put in a code and then you get the key out of the lockbox. So, let me just say this Airbnb was in a really kind of creepy looking area, at least at nighttime. Again, we didn't get there until night, 11 o'clock, so it was very, very dark. Sorry, I had to restart my camera, but yeah. So, it was looking very creepy. We put in the code to get the key out of the lockbox and it would not work. We could not get that lockbox open. We all tried it. We were freaking out. We contact the host. He doesn't respond to us. He's either asleep or he's out partying somewhere, but he's totally ghosting us. So we reach out to Airbnb and they try to get in touch with him. Can't get in touch with him. So after like basically fighting with Airbnb for a good hour, they finally tell us they will put us in a hotel and the money that we spent on the Airbnb will pay for the hotel. And I guess the host just didn't get the money because he he didn't give us the house <laughs> like we had rented that started off the trip very rough we were all kind of shaken up in a bad mood after that let me stop babbling for a second take a bite of the wrap it's got crispy chicken Turn this off so you guys can kind of see the sauce in there. That's really good. Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> the tortilla is perfect, it's like perfectly warm and soft. Okay, I definitely approve of this. I really enjoyed their wraps the first go around, but this one is just amazing. The flavor is so good. Anyways, back to the whole Charleston thing. So I also forgot my ID. So the whole time that we were down there, I had no way of ordering any drinks, which kind of limited us. I mean, I tried not to let it hold them back, but it was just a disaster of a trip. There was so much bad juju over that trip. Um, so ever since then, I just have not wanted to go back to Charleston. But anyways, all that to say, we are going to go to Charleston for a beach vacation and I'm super excited. We're gonna bring Mello, which will be nice. The only bad part is you can't bring dogs onto the beach between the hours of 10 and six. It's just for the months of, I think, May to October, but we're going in May. Cause we wanna go down there when it's relatively warm. I wanna get me a tan. Girly is super pale right now. <laughs> so I would like to get me a nice little tan. You know, I think it'll be fine though because Mello can still walk on the beach for the sunset and yeah, I'm just so excited. I'm mostly excited about being oceanfront because it brings so many memories back of my childhood. Okay, so I wanted to add a little update. We are actually going to Isle of Palms Beach, which is still outside of Charleston. I think it's like one beach over from Folly Beach, but they actually allow dogs on the beach year round. And we ended up getting a condo because most of the hotels there that are oceanfront don't allow dogs. I think there's only one hotel there that's oceanfront. They do allow dogs, but in my head, I was like, do I really want to stay in a hotel with other dogs where Mellow can hear other dogs? 
dogs barking. So we ended up getting a condo on a more secluded part of the beach. So it should be like a very restful private beach vacation. So I'm very excited. Growing up, we didn't really do a lot of vacations, but my dad always tried to take us to the beach at least. We would stay at the same hotel every year that we went, and it was always oceanfront, and I just, I don't know, like just waking up to the ocean and hearing the waves and just being able to wake up and see them, there's just something so special about that. Also, while we are kind of babbling on here, Gabe and I finished The Gentleman on Netflix. I don't think I've watched a show that good in a very long time. Highly recommend if you guys have not seen it. And it is in fact Theo James in it, not James Franco. Whenever I first saw Divergent and even like when I rewatched Divergent, Theo James is just so young in it. So in The Gentleman, he does, I mean, he still looks good, but he looks a little bit older. Um, haven't seen too much of James Franco now that he's older. So I think that's why I just, in my head, I was thinking James Franco, but actually has Theo James in it. He is amazing. The actress who plays Susie Glass, which I can't quite remember her name, but I know she's in a lot of stuff. She is fantastic. Freaking love her character. Yeah, it's just such a good show. There's just like this very subtle character development that goes on throughout the show and it is done so well. His brother is very goofy and honestly a mess and causes a lot of trouble throughout the show, but he adds like that much needed comedic relief to the show. So I just think it's done so well. I also finished The Tourist recently. That one was really good. I do think The Gentleman was slightly better. Gabe also loved The Gentleman. He was kind of falling asleep during The Tourist, but both are very good shows. I can't stop looking at this Whopper because it's just so good. <laughs> I gotta say you guys, uh, Burger King did not disappoint. Everything was so good. I would 100% recommend this wrap. It doesn't even need sauce, but I am gonna try it with the zesty sauce. I tried it with the ranch, ranch is really good. Zesty sauce is good. Doesn't quite go as well as the ranch. I would say ranch is probably my preferred. So good though. There's a guy in a truck pulled up right beside me and I made eye contact with him and I got my tray out. A little bit awkward. <laughs> Oh, they're going inside. There they are. I heard you guys, well, I think I've talked enough. I think I've ate enough. Everything was so freaking delicious. Burger King, once again, never disappoints. Whopper, I mean, it's always good. French fries, always good. I gotta say that wrap is a 10 out of 10 for me. I don't think you could do anything better with that wrap, so. I feel like I have to give it a 10 out of 10 because, I mean, I don't see what other improvements they could make. Chicken nuggets are also a 10 out of 10. Wow, this whole video is just 10s all around, which I know sounds, you know, like, Daisy, are you just, you know, gassing up Burger King? I mean, I'm always gassing up Burger King. 
y'all know I love my Burger King but no seriously so delicious but yeah you guys I hope y'all enjoyed this Burger King mukbang and seeing me try the new Buffalo items I love you guys so so much thank you all for watching please drop a thumbs up down below and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys